I think the election really is a referendum on Trump um, and the Republican Party nationally more generally. I think it's hard to know what the early voting numbers mean in terms of an advantage for Democrats or Republicans. Uh, but I do think that all of the polling that's available suggests that there's a lot of enthusiasm on the Democratic side. And we will win! Um, if you ask voters about whether they participated in a rally or volunteered or engaged in campaigning, tried to persuade their friends how to vote, those are all indicators that suggest enthusiasm, and those seem to all provide an advantage for the Democrats this time around. Um, whether that translates into a huge surge in voter turnout tomorrow, I think it's hard to know. And it's also hard to know from the early voting numbers whether those big increases are all on the Democratic side or whether it could be spread um, for both the Republicans and Democrats. The, the Senate races in Missouri and Indiana uh, might be good indicators of the larger national picture. Um, you know, if, if the Democrats, Claire McCaskill in Missouri, are able to hold that seat, Joe Donnelly in Indiana are able to hold that seat, that's probably a good sign for Democrats nationally. Um, it's not to say that a loss by the Democrats in those seats would mean that Democrats aren't going to do well in the House, for example, um, because those are seats that are difficult for the Democrats to hold this year. Um, but I think if Democrats do well in those races, that's probably a sign that there's a larger national wave um, and probably high Democratic turnout in other places. Uh, I think um, viewers might be interested in, in looking at Florida, what happens there, both in the Senate race where the governor, uh, Republican Rick Scott, is running in a close race with sitting Senator Bill Nelson. Uh, but if Nelson is able to, to hold that seat and win with a comfortable margin, that again might signal a um, positive thing for Democrats. If Scott, on the other hand, is able to win that seat, um, and if the Florida Republican candidate, um, Ron DeSantis, is able to win the governor's seat there, that might portend a good night for Republicans. The Senate landscape this year is very favorable to the Republicans. Like, for example, the Republicans are only defending one seat in a state that Hillary Clinton won in 2016, where there are a number of states that the Democrats are, are defending. And so that would just naturally expect you to think that the Republicans are going to have an advantage. In the House, however, if the Democrats pick up 30 or 40 seats and it will give them a fairly substantial majority in the House of Representatives, um, I think that's going to be the larger story and it's going to be the thing that even a lot of Republicans will probably, probably focus on because I think the Senate is probably less telling of the national mood.